I'm sorry that there was a customer called. Um, I'm not going to take any calls during this 10 minutes. Um, okay, I'm going to paint a live rose on this uh, rice paper journal. Um, I wish you can see both the object, the, the subject matter and the, my paper. I think it's difficult. So uh, when I paint, I have to do it like this, and then I'll show you the actual objects. OK, let me see. Maybe I can do this. Anyway, I'm going to use uh, um, some ink and the watercolor, regular watercolor, because I'm going to uh, explore this uh, colorfulness so you can um, use regular watercolor but I still like the Chinese uh, ink on rice paper so <coughs> let me see this is my palette I just use one cent one Newton and some um, Daniel Smith colors my basic uh, red is uh, pearl red I think and uh, Chris crimson so for the roses. And you can see the ink, uh, I mean the water is in my uh, brush, so I don't need to bring, but although I have water supply on the site, I just got a drop of water on the paper, so maybe this is where I will start. Um, anyway, I will start on this side. You can see the dark is where I, I do first. In Chinese watercolor, we always do the dark first. You can, uh, the rose has uh, this cornered uh, petals. So I keep doing until the brush is exhaust and uh, I can squeeze the brush to get some more moisture so the color turns lighter, more water from the handle, you know, the reservoir. Okay, and uh, this is considered the host, which is the strong uh, one. And I'll do the guest one with the same color, but uh, less intensity maybe, or smaller in size. And this is on this side. I, I really don't mind the, the light, but uh, we do consider uh, in terms of yin and yang, so when I do dark, I squeeze out the shape of the white. And try to create the strong contrast between tones or values. One, one big, one small. And uh, let me make it simple. I just use uh, um, ink, maybe a little green color with, uh, uh, for the leaves. So I just use some uh, sap green, I think. And you can get some blue. Uh, French ultramarine, I think. Uh, I have some red left, I believe. So that makes it gray, green. And you can have a little bit red for the tender leaves. I touch the little red. So in Chinese watercolor, we, we load everything uh, on a single brush stroke, in the, stro in the same stroke. 
the bump on the paper doesn't bother me actually. It creates an interesting uh, effect. Okay, you can reload a little and finally touch a little red on the tip. Try to reduce the group minimum. Use the cold to contrast with the warm or leaf to fall out the, the flowers. And uh, I'll do use some ink because on rice paper in Chinese brush painting, we have to give it uh, spirit with ink to, for the old uh, chunk, I think in this case. Oops, it's kind of too wet. You have to do it fast when the ink, the brush is, is wet. <coughs> okay, that's about it. And let me just add a little more leaves. These are new leaves from the spring. They're supposed to be tender. I use keep using the green color in it. And uh, we we have to add leaf veins to finish it. That gives a um, perspective. Just some accent, you know, don't have to be real specific. a little dark and there are thorns on the trunk or the stem. Okay, I wish you can, uh, you followed this uh, sketch fine and uh, since I'm on, on outside I really cannot see the, the screen very clearly so um, next time I'll try to improve you please subscribe and we'll do another one soon thank you for watching have a good weekend happy painting